Good morning, my friends. Joy here. It is Wednesday, April 15, 2020. Do you know the most shocking thing happened yesterday? <laughs> in my life, I never once came upstairs and came in this room yesterday. Never once. Can you believe it? I'm in here every day, almost all day long. Well, sometimes I do actually dust and vacuum and I do make dinner <laughs> and I do make lunch and I do do the dishes and I do make our bed and I do take a shower and I do get dressed. So I guess I'm not up here all the time. But most of my playtime, I'm up here, okay? Brand new fresh cuppa. I brought home, when um, we sold our business, I brought home all of the curry cups because I was the only one that used them. They were in my, I had my kitchen, and so they were mine. I had purchased them. I don't think I was stealing. Any, how can you steal from your own store? We owned it. So anyway, <laughs> I brought all of the coffees home, and I had bought tea, and I had bought um, hot chocolates, and I'd bought anything they made in a curry cup, cup I bought. And so I brought all those home and I put them here in my cabinet. And so every day I go up there and I just put my hand up and down and into the cardboard box and pull something out. I'm like, oh, I'll drink that today. So today I'm drinking donut shop coffee. That's the point. Sorry, Jerry. I warned you. I warned you. <laughs> all right. I've decided what I hate about this top. I have to apologize to hot patterns. There's nothing wrong with their pattern. Don't blame anything I said on their pattern, although I did think it was difficult to copy the PDF and cut it and tape it together. I thought that was quite difficult. It didn't line up near as good as other people's patterns. So anyway, I've decided what I don't like is the neckline, and I don't like the dolman sleeve. So this is the one you, most of you like the best. I don't think I look good in green. I think my earrings today might match it, however. <laughs> But I am going to cut the neckline off. Let me show it to you up close. This was a real different neckline. She even said it was. She said, now, I didn't um, come up with this neckline. I copied it from somebody. But what you do is you sew the uh, collar on the wrong side, and then you flip it to the right side and sew it down. And so it makes it really thick and bulky. I don't like it. And so I'm cutting that off. I'm going to change the neckline on this. I don't think I can change the sleeves, these little cuffs. The cuffs are cute, but they just, they don't seem to look good on me. I don't know. But this one won't be pajamas. This is a cotton knit. It's really a nice knit. And this is a cotton knit. And so, um, I don't know. I, I don't think this would look really good with matching um, <laughs> leggings. <laughs> I do have some left. But it's just one side. Here's a whole piece. I don't know. I might just make a little tank top with what's left of it. There's plenty of it for that. But I'm not going to make leggings to go with it. Because I'm not wearing this one to bed. So I've decided I like all three tops. I made five, but the fourth one I took apart to make number five. So I have four tops out of this pattern. And it's hot patterns. Oh wait, this is the Jaylee legging. Love the Jaylee legging. I made some shorts out of it yesterday. <laughs> I don't look too good in the shorts. Hmm. You need like uh, something to keep going to make people look at your knees instead of your thighs. <laughs> My personal opinion. It's what you guys always get, you know. Mm. So anyway, Hot Patterns 1189. I don't remember what it's called. And I told you about the Jaylee leggings I made the other day, and I was looking for my earrings to match my top this morning, uh, and I found this bracelet I made. Since I've been showing you my jewelry lately, I wanted to show you this, and I'm telling you, you cannot show jewelry. Even the ladies that do it on YouTube, they just can't get good pictures of it. There's just something about photographs that deform jewelry. You have to have like special light boxes and special cameras, and I don't. So I don't know if this will look good or not in the camera, but it is absolutely gorgeous. It's got Swarovski crystals all over. It's probably got, goodness, 10, 20, 30, 40. It's probably got 50 Swarovski crystals in it. It's just beautiful. Let me see if I can show it to you and you can see it good.
Hmm. See, it's hard, isn't it? It's like, well, that doesn't look like anything, Joy. It's got Swarovski Crystal Rivoli's in the center. And then all of those little shiny orange parts are Swarovski Crystals. And all the little green parts are Swarovski Crystals. So this is, oh, it's just beautiful. You can see it's little. I have the littlest wrist. Let me see if I can put it on. This right here is actually the clasp. Wow. How about that? Does that show up good? I didn't make this pattern. Somebody else did. I just followed the directions. But oh, isn't it gorgeous? I made this to go with one particular blouse. I sure fit designs, made a blouse, and then I made this to go with it. And then a lot of times what I would do um, is I would put my jewelry that I made to go with that blouse, I would put it in a little sandwich bag and then hang it on the top of the hanger. So then when I took that blouse out or that dress out, the jewelry that went with it would be with it. Well, this got separated from the top and was just in my jewelry box. So heaven only knows what the blouse looks like now. Anyway, oh my gosh, that is just so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty. I hope you guys can see it good. It is gorgeous. Okay, so that's that. This is this. I am going to cut the neckline off of this. I don't know if I'll cut the cuffs off or not. We'll see. We'll just see. I've got to make one of my winter village. A lot of you have asked me about the uh, quilt on the wall. It is Winter Village by Editta Sitar. Laundry basket quilt. If you go to laundrybasketquilts.com, she has one now called Summer Village, and it has completely different fabrics. Really fun. If I hadn't already made winter, I'd probably buy summer. <laughs> but I have to make a block for a friend, and um, one of you said, could we see you make a block? So I think that's what I'll do today. I think I'll get out my Winter Village, and then I'll... Um, do a little, a few clips of me making a winter village house block, okay? I'll be back. All right, let's do a before neckline. This is the before neckline with the thick, thick <laughs> binding on the top, okay? So this is before. This is more for me than it is for you guys, okay? <laughs> Look, it's flat instead of four or five layers thick right here now. So it's flat against me. It's lower and it's wider. Huh? So, this is the beauty of being able to sew. You can change things. You can change the pattern. Oh my gosh, you know how many years I went thinking that I was going to go straight to prison if I dare cut into a paper pattern. <laughs> oh my gosh, was that ever freeing. Super, super freeing. Although before you do it, you need to trace the pattern and then cut into your tracing, you know, until you get exactly what you want. Now, I am such a goofball. I was so mad at this the other day because I didn't like any of the tops. And now that I figured out why I didn't like them, I'm fixing them all. But I took the pattern and I wadded it up like this and I threw it in some trash can. I cannot find it anywhere. I probably, knowing me, because it was a great big wad of paper, went downside and downside. I went downside. I went down the side of the mountain. <laughs> oh my. I'm taking ginkgo now. Let's we'll see if that helps. <laughs> so I went downstairs and I walked out to the giant trash can, probably knowing me, and threw it out there. Whatever I did. Yesterday was when the man comes and dumps your trash. So I'll have to print it out again and um, tape it back together. But this time I'm going to do the smallest size, which is a six. And I'm going to change the neck. And I'm going to make the sleeve so they don't have these cuffs on them. Now the cuffs are okay. I decided it wasn't the cuffs that bothered me the most. It was the neckline. Did you know there's a rule? You know, there's all these rules. I don't know where this rule came from. But there's some kind of a rule that when you have a neck opening, you're supposed to be able to take your head off and stick it in that opening. <laughs> so from here to here is supposed to equal from your chin to the top of your head, without your hair, I guess. 
So, I don't look good in necklines up to here. I just don't look good in them. I look like my head's floating around in a bowl or something. <laughs> I know, I see things nobody else on the planet would see. So, anyway, now I like it. Now, I already have earrings to go with it. I made these earrings to go with something a couple weeks ago. You guys watched me make them and it happens to go with this top, so. Yay, yay, yay! So now, this top right here, you remember this one? I really like it now too, isn't that crazy? The neck isn't finished on this one. So I can cut this neck down, widen the shoulders, and finish the neck, and I'm not gonna put the cuffs on. I'm just gonna finish the um, dolman sleeve like I'm gonna do the neck. How did I do the neck? I put steam a seam, quarter inch, all the way around, then I folded it in 3 8 inch and pressed it. And I haven't sewn it yet, but I'm going to go sew it. So, I think I was in a bad mood last week. Last week it was rainy and cloudy and dark, and that always just puts me in a really bad mood. <laughs> so, I'm going to let you go for now, and I'll come back after a while when I'm getting ready to do the house block for my friend Helga. Stay with me. <laughs> okay. The afternoon is over. It is after 5 o'clock. I should already be downstairs fixing supper for sideburns, but I'm not because I just finished taking pictures of the third pair of Jaylee leggings that I made today. <laughs> you know, I made some leggings yesterday or the day before. I think it was yesterday. Um, to go with the other top I made like this. Remember I said it was my pajamas, so I decided well, I might as well make some to go with this too, only not for pajamas. This is too, um, too warm to wear for pajamas. But anyway, I'm gonna show you, let me see, I made it three times. So I took a picture, and the pictures aren't good, so don't look at me from the head up, okay? Um, the first pair I made, I decided, oh my gosh, I didn't even take a picture of that pair. I have to get them out of the trash. Hold on. I'll tell you, just because it stretches doesn't mean it's a good fabric to make leggings out of, okay? This is the first pair I made. And they turned out great, I thought. On this one, I put the trim at the very bottom. They go all the way to the ankle and the trim is all the way to the bottom. The problem is, every time I put them on, they ripped. They ripped, look here, look here. See there? That's my rear end right there. <laughs> and they ripped in the leg, and um, I'd sew them up and they'd rip again. This fabric is like a nylon stocking, like a really tight nylon stocking. And when I put it on, I looked like you put a 20 pound sausage in a five pound casing. It was not pretty at all. <laughs> so anyway, these ended up in the trash. So then I had seen these on me with this on the bottom, of course. And I thought, you know what? I bet it would look better if it had black print black. So then I made the second pair. So I took a picture of it. I'll put the picture right here of the second pair. Okay. So the second pair I put on, I decided I wasn't crazy about that way either. Although the fabric was way nicer. Thank God I've got a ton of fabric, you guys. Just think if I didn't have any fabric, what would I have done for fabric today? There's no place I could go and get fabric. No place. So that's why I have to have all this fabric. I'm sure you understand now. So, the next pair, the last pair that I actually have on right now, <laughs> I went into my stash and I found a, a better knit that wasn't so, um, it wasn't so like a nylon stocking. It's, it's not a cotton knit either. I'm sure it's a rayon knit, but it's thicker and it doesn't stretch out so much when you put it on to like you can see through it almost, okay? So this is my final pair that I'm wearing right now and I'm gonna show you a picture I took of it. Yeah, see what I did was I just removed the part that goes below the capri length. I just unstitched all of it and took this off and then I'm gonna hem up the bottom which now makes them complete length, okay? So, 
I didn't get the house done because I spent all afternoon making Jaylee leggings. So I didn't get the house block done, but I'll work on it tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to let you go. Good night for tonight, and I'll be back tomorrow. Bye for now.